are we are we filming? We knew that there was something special about Bubbles when she was probably six months old. She was a fierce sniffer, but we had no idea that she would grow up to become the world's most feared and revered wine critic. Who could predict something like that? Her taste became synonymous with excellence. I guess you could say that her journey as the world's greatest wine critic really began when she took a humble job as a cellar assistant. <laughs> Truthfully, she wasn't very good in the cellar. Uh, we'd often catch her sleeping on the job or uh, chasing her tail, uh, catching flies, things that weren't, weren't very useful. But one day when um, she was walking through the cellar, she found the bacterial contamination that could have <coughs> destroyed our winery. Is it this one? I'm sorry. Um. Oh no! She saved our entire crop. For that, we'll, we will always be grateful. Shortly after the contamination was discovered, you know, it wasn't long before the veterinarian community found out about her hyperosmia. She got a long-term contract with a very important corporation to identify a very rare bovine disease called eractation flatulitis, wherein cows, they, uh, they fart out of their mouth instead of out of their butt. And she was really well compensated for that job but unfortunately, she had some conflicts with her co-workers and, uh, and was forced to leave. After she completed her position in the cow industry, that's when she was recruited as a wine judge and found her true calling as a wine critic. After that first judging where she identified 7,946 wines blind in three hours, she skyrocketed to stardom. meteoric rise to fame. She became the most admired wine critic in the history of the world. She was loved. It hasn't been all fun and games though. Her travel schedule is grueling. And uh, now she has carpal tunnel, you know, because of all the, the swirling. And look, let's face it, she's a bitch. No, I mean, I mean really, she's a, she's a bitch. Female dog. Oh, I wasn't sure that we were going to talk about that. I'll never forget it. June 17th, 2017. 7, 17, 17. It was a cocktail party. The sun was shining. Chablis was in hand. People were <laughs> laughing. People were talking. No, my car hasn't gone in reverse for years. The dog was shitting all over the yard. The dog had a series of very loose stools at a very inconvenient time. Nobody wants to smell that. It was horrifically embarrassing. The world's greatest wine critic can't hold their bowels. She was mortified. Uh, she went into a deep depression. She stopped eating. She stopped tasting wine. When she became destructive, we had to intervene with a specialist. The specialist ultimately recommended a diaper. Look out world!